Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Isaiah chapter 16, this is the Amplified Version. Prophecy of Moab's Devastation Send lambs to the ruler of the land, the Moabites, from Selah, that is, Petra and Edom, through the wilderness to the mountain of the daughter of Zion, Jerusalem. For like wandering birds or scattered nestlings, the daughters of Moab will be at the fords of the river Arnon. Say to the ruler, give us advice, make a decision for Moab, king of Judah. Cast your shadow over us like night in the mist of noon. Hide the outcast, do not betray the fugitive to his pursuer. Let our outcast of Moab live among you. Be a sheltered hiding place to them from the destroyer. For the extortioner has come to an end. Destruction has ceased. Oppressors who trample men have completely disappeared from the land. A throne will be established in loving kindness, and one will sit on it in faithfulness in the 10th dynasty family of David, judging and seeking justice and being prompt to do righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab, an excessive pride, even of his arrogance, his conceit, his rage, his untruthful boasting. Therefore, Moab will wail for Moab. Everyone will wail. You will mourn for the raisin cakes of Ker Hariset, as those who are utterly stricken and discouraged. For the fields of Heshbon have languished and withered, and the vines of Sibma as well. The lords of the nations have trampled down Moab's choice vine branches which reached as far as Jazer and wandered into the wilderness. Its tendrils stretched out. They passed over the shores of the Dead Sea. Therefore, I, Isaiah, will weep bitterly for Jazer, for the vines of Sidma. I will drench you with my tears, O Heshbon and Alile, for the war cry of the enemy has fallen on your summer fruits and your harvest. Gladness and joy are taken away from the fruitful field. In the vineyards, there will be no singing or joyful sound. No treader treads out wine in the presses. For I, God, put an end to the joyful shouting. Therefore, my heart sounds like a harp in mournful compassion for Moab, and my inner being mourns for Ker Hariseth. So it will come to pass when Moab presents himself, when he wearies himself worshiping on his high place of idolatry and comes to his sanctuary of Chemosh, God of Moab, to pray that he will not prevail. This is the word which the Lord spoke earlier concerning Moab, when Moab's pride and resistance to God were first known. But now the Lord speaks, saying, Within three years, as the years of a hired man who will not serve longer than the agreed time, the glory of Moab will be degraded along with all the great population, and the remnant that survives will be very small and of no account. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.